For perspective on the global economy, I spoke to Ihan Kose. He's the acting vice president of the Equitable Growth, Finance and Institutions Practice Group at the World Bank. And I began by asking just how much the pandemic has affected the global economy. It has caused a severe loss of life, tipped millions into extreme poverty, and is expected to inflict lasting damage uh, that will likely weigh on growth for years to come. Look at what happened last year. Uh, basically, for more than a quarter of emerging market developed economies, uh, per capita income losses have erased at least a decade of gains. The number of people living in poverty globally is estimated to increase more than 100 million by the end of this year. So, all in all, when you think about the impact of the pandemic, you see the impact on, you know, incomes, you see the impact on jobs, and you see the impact, of course, on poverty. And so we did see the World Bank Group President David Malpass notes that making the right investments now is vital both to support the recovery when it's urgently needed, as well as fostering resilience. But as countries mount debt to provide social support, stimulus and health funding for their citizens, what does that mean for those types of investments? So what does it mean is being intelligent, being, uh, you know, uh, uh, proactive when it comes to take, for example, education. We have seen massive disruptions in education systems throughout the world. Um, more than 90% of students had their education disrupted to some extent in 2020. Now, we need to find ways to improve the education system. We need to find ways to improve the health systems. We need to find ways to improve digital infrastructure. All of these will require uh, intelligent approaches and, of course, having medium-term plans. And in an environment when you have limited fiscal space, you need to think about how you are going to undertake these reforms while investing in programs. Undertaking the reforms will help attract foreign investment. That investment will then turn into investment in education, healthcare, and infrastructure. So then as you look at some of those investments, you mentioned things like te tech, healthcare, education. Are some countries doing a better job than others? And, and what sort of example are they setting? Now, what we learn from this pandemic, there are significant, significant gaps in digital health and education infrastructure across emerging market and developing economies. So the immediate priority now for all countries to contain the pandemic, uh, this includes investing in procurement and dissemination of vaccines. And of course, beyond that, enhancing healthcare and improving a country's, a country's pandemic readiness will require comprehensive investment across many dimensions. In many emerging market developing countries, especially low-income countries, we see substantial need in terms of access to sanitation, access to clean water, access to nutrition programs and basic health services, education, these gaps in terms of education outcomes, health outcomes, are very large when you think about countries in sub-Saharan Africa, countries in South Asia. So policymakers need to find ways to, in a sense, uh, invest in education, health programs, digital infrastructure to just uh, improve development outcomes, but at the right. same time to mitigate the impact of the pandemic. Now, we did see, obviously, some downward revisions for the, for the U.S. economy. A bright spot, though, may potentially be China, which is expected to grow by nearly 8% in 2021. Why are we going to see that growth? And what does China's economic development mean in terms of global growth as well? Yes, uh, China is going to deliver close to 8% growth this year. This is driven by effective control of the virus, uh, macroeconomic stabilization policies, and sizable public investment-led stimulus. Of course, a healthy China, rapidly growing China, has uh, positive spillovers to other countries around the world through uh, trade linkages, through investment linkages.